Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. And we are back here at your Langer. And let's do a Sally's Pledge. There she is, right to the left. Talk to her real quick. I'm pleased to see you again, Tick Man. I've already shared the fruits of our expedition with your anger. Let us together ponder their implications. So, Ali's pledge. We're going to get some gill. I love gill. Granger would speak with you regarding your experience inside the binding coil. Well, glad I am for thy safe return. Lady Azal has a Praise me of thy many experiences. As thou wilt doubtless be aware, Master Lunix was my lady's grandsire. Gravely concerned was I for her safety, but it wouldn't seem I need to have been so. With all my heart, I do thank thee for watching over her. But come, thou must speak with Mistress Alzi upon that which transpired within the binding coil. May it serve to bring us closer to the truth of the calamity. Alright, well, she was there with me. Shall we begin then? Your anger, I understand you have a report of your own to share with us. I, my lady, even as Thou didst emerge from the depths, an authentic disturbance, the token primal activity was observed. In Mordor, it, it was marked first by a comparison of time and magnitude. We have since deducted its origin. The cat knew flats. Strange. There have been no reports of primal activity in that region. It could only have been Belmont. That would certainly explain how we came to be in the northern Thalia. Somehow, the cave took us all the way from Valbran to the heart of Aladena. It would seem so, my lady. It is all but certain that, after Belmont disappeared five years ago, he hid himself deep beneath Petney and has since laid dormant, regenerated. I, my lady, taken together with thine own account of Bahun's continued presence, the lad's slowness to heal, and the disorder of the authentic currents, do point to one conclusion. Um, but thou mark stir. If left unchecked, the primal shall drink of Azorian's life, forced till his doth awaken to reign upon the land. Just Peter Tickman. Rest assured, I do not mean to give up Tickman. Valmont may still live, but so too does Grandfather. For the past five years, he has been keeping vigil over his nemesis, making certain that the primal does not escape. Master Lunet. Mm -hmm. Doth yet lived? I. I. Rust not hope, and thou art certain, was mere an abstention of thy all too sorely felt through. I don't know what he's saying. I know how desperate this may sound, but I saw him with my own two eyes, as did Tickman. But he vanished deeper into the labyrinth before we had the chance to speak. Two more light fragments of Dalmon pierced to earth when the lesser moon fell. One was one we have seen. If we can but find the other two, I am certain that we will find Grandfather as well. If thou so believest, my lady, then I too shall have faith. If it please you, I shall notify the grand companies of this development. Alzor must stand unified if we are to avert a repeat of the calamity. That would not be necessary, young girl. Being the great counselor that he is, Alfred will 
seek to unite Israel of his own accord. Rumors are true that Endeavor is already well underway. So, let us leave the diplomacy to the diplomat while we continue our investigation of Bama. I swear to you, no matter what it takes, you will find my grandfather and uncover the whole truth of the calamity. Good man, you have earned, you have heard me swear to do these things, but without your strength, I cannot help to make good on my word. The danger to Azora is not past. For the sake of all who abide here, I pray that you will ever be all sword in the dark. Yep, you got it. And Alazi's pledge is complete. So, that was a nice quick one. We didn't have no dungeons or nothing to do. The truth is down there. And she's gone. Awesome. Alright, well, thanks for joining me. My name's Tick, and we'll be back tomorrow for his other quest. There he goes over there. Until then, y'all take care.